Welcome intrepid viewer and fragrance aficionado or lover. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm Tommy with Studio Synth. I gotta be honest guys, I'm really excited about today's review. If by now you have guessed Azaro and the most wanted as the fragrance, you are the winner. You are correct. So when we come back, we're going to take a closer look at this new 2021 release and find out if it is in fact the most wanted Azaro fragrance of 2021. That and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone and thanks for sticking with me. You're gonna be glad that you did because today we're looking at a really cool release by the house of Azaro called So before we do anything else, let's check out that presentation. I know that some people thought that when Wanted first came out, this one here, because it does look like kind of like a toy, like a kid's uh, Colt 45 gun, like the chamber. Uh, so I kind of get why some people thought it was cheesy or didn't like it, but the more iterations that they've released, the darker the metal has become, which makes it look more adult oriented, more you know cool, more real realistic looking and it just is a really neat i think a cool very cool presentation it's very masculine too of course the box is very dark you know you've got your graphic on the top that says azaro the most wanted eau de parfum intense 100 ml bottle and on the very back it's got an interesting uh, albeit rather negative statement i don't know why they would be so negative azaro gosh Life is a celebration. Step into the light and enjoy the moment. It's your time to shine. Why are they so negative, man? Why can't they be more positive? No, I really like that though. It's, it's kind of a neat, just kind of a neat nod towards feel good about the money that you spend on our product. You know, it's your time to shine. Your time to smell great. 91 Umbrella U. So 91U2003 for those of you that are interested. You've got your precautions on the side, distribution address. You've got your ingredients on the bottom back. And then of course on the very bottom, you've got your barcode, your stickers, and the batch and the QR code there. So interesting box, but by far the best part of the presentation is the bottle. Isn't that slick looking? I just love that satin metallic look. It's just one of my favorite looks for pretty much anything, including cars to bottles. And it's just really nice. Now, historically, one of the worst things about the Wanted and Wanted by Night is the knuckle banger is what I call it. When you pull this off, you end up banging your knuckle or it's just really hard to get off because it's super tight. It seems like they've fix that to a degree because this comes off a lot easier and seems to go on a lot easier too although that heavy snap is still there it says azaro across the both sides of the bottom of the bottle and interestingly enough it has the batch code printed on the bottom of the bottle as well in case you can't read the box and so it just seems to be an exponential evolution of the fragrance dna to get darker and darker so from here to hear. Well, let's take a look at the note breakdown. The Most Wanted is an amber spicy fragrance for men by Azaro. This is a new fragrance for 2021, featuring top notes of cardamom, heart note of toffee, 
resting on a base of amber wood. How is that for simple? Cardamom, toffee, and amber wood. It's gonna be a dark, rich, sweet, gourmand-like fragrance. Although what I really enjoy about, because I love gourmand fragrances, but sometimes gourmand fragrances are more sweet edible than they are masculine. But I like when they kind of split it down the middle and they, they do both really, really well. They're like working together in tandem instead of fighting you know, for dominance one over the other. So let's check out the juice in this and see which direction it's gonna go. Sounds to me like it may be similar to Stronger With You Intensely, perchance, but there's something better than speculation. That's the actuality of it. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Or three, or two. Nice. Wow. Atomizer is really good. Spits a little bit to begin with until you get it pumped or primed. Then it comes out in a really nice rounded burst. Wow, I'm catching that in the air. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a room filler. This is definitely gonna be a banger of a fragrance. Very, very volumetric. There's a lot of volume here. So this is gonna have, in, in the gaming world, if you, if you play computer games at all, or if you're you know, a lover of console games, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, um, there's this thing in games called draw distance. It, uh, it dictates, along with anti-aliasing and volumetric fog and all that, it dictates kind of where, how, much you see, how much detail you see, how far away you see. That's kind of like the scent trail or the sillage of a fragrance. How far will it extend out? What kind of bubble you're gonna get? This one definitely is gonna have a really nice, well-rounded radius or bubble of scent. This is immediately one of those love it or hate it fragrances. This is going to be very polarizing to the community. I can see people that are going to be like, ugh, this is awful. I will never wear this. Why would anybody pour, you know, Cairo syrup over themselves? This is sickeningly sweet. It's going to be those like myself that really like dark, rich fragrances that aren't afraid to get their fingers dirty and just like be really powerful. It's also a little something called getting your money's worth because that's why you purchase fragrances, right? To smell and to smell good. And if you like the way something smells, don't you want more of it, right? Don't you want a, a volume instead of just this light, shy ostrich that sticks his head in the sand? Of course, this has more than cardamom, toffee, and amber wood in it. Really, these three are the trifecta you want to focus on for top, mid, and base. So I was curious about something. I was curious about the difference between Wanted by Night and The Most Wanted, and so I sprayed them side by side here. And what I like about them, though, is when you go from one to the other, it still has that Wanted DNA. You definitely understand that you're smelling a flanker. You're smelling something very similar. So it carries that same vibe, that same energy that's in this Wanted by Night but it's just darker and sweeter. But Wanted by Night is a little bit more bright. It's like it's a little bit more punching through than this is. I don't wanna use the word subdued, but it's a heavier fragrance. So both Wanted by Night and The Most Wanted Intense are both Eau de Parfum concentrations. So you're gonna get a little bit similar weight on your skin. I feel like though The Most Wanted is gonna sit a little bit heavier on the skin and not project quite as much, but that's not a big deal. It's not like a competition or anything. It's just a reality. Wanted by Night is gonna project a little bit better and a little bit more because it's a little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner, drives the point home a little bit quicker. And I think the times that you don't want that are gonna be perfect segue for a fragrance like this. I really enjoy the, it, it is similar to Stronger With You and you know the Stronger With You line insofar as it has that kind of caramel toffee you know, vibe to it, that, that note, that's sweet, it's a dessert-like, sweet, edible, but it has that wanted sharpness that's specific to the wanted line. And although Stronger With You, Stronger With You Intensely, Stronger With You Absolutely are gonna be similar to this this still has that wanted DNA. I feel like this is refined enough to where you could wear it in an upscale environment. It's gonna be pretty much largely a casual wear fragrance. It's gonna be definitely a magnetic, sexy date night fragrance to be attractive, to pull you compliments, to get you attention. I feel like it's gonna be appropriate in whatever scenario you decide to wear it in. Because after all, you're the one that wears the fragrance. The fragrance doesn't wear you. So pretty much you dictate how this is received by the way that you speak, the way that you act, the way that you deport yourself. 100% a new banger on the market.
the most wanted. That's rich, it's intoxicating, it's uh, alluring, it's magnetic. It has that allure, that draw that, that pulls people in into your vicinity. And as soon as the person that you're interested in, your prospectus smells this, they're gonna be like, what is that? What is that that you have on? That smells so good. If they don't say it, they're definitely thinking it. I am going to give you a full on review of this without doubt. So be expecting that in the future. But I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out today's first impressions. If you have this fragrance, if you were able to get it, Dillard's was the first to carry it before it was even online. If you are a lover of Wanted by Night and you've been waiting on this and gotta have it, right now you can get the 50 mil bottle for like 75, 80 and get the 100 mil bottle for around 110. Thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out today's video. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.